I may regret this because I'm sure some of these pieces are probably set to sell out. Doing you guys a favor on this one, so hopefully you can appreciate me showing you these things before I actually buy them. <laughs> Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be taking you through what is on my wish list for spring. So with a new season upon us, there are quite a few pieces that I have on my wish list for spring. How I like to shop is I I tend to keep a folder or almost like a bookmark folder on my computer of the items that I really really like and I tend to like sit on that for a couple of weeks before I purchase so things like my basics any bags accessories footwear jewelry that I really really like and I tend not to impulse purchase things anymore so I thought this would be a good idea to show you the pieces that I am really interested in and a lot of these I will be picking up for my spring summer wardrobe some of them are like need to haves and then some of them are just things that I really really like and I thought I could show you ahead of time in case you're also on the hunt for some similar items we've got some bags we've got some accessories we've got some clothing I may regret this because I'm sure some of these pieces are probably set to sell out especially from some of the more popular brands but I'm doing you guys a favor on this one so hopefully you can appreciate me showing you these things before I actually buy them so we're going to kick off with handbags and the first bag that is on my wish list for spring and summer is the Ghani bow bag. You may have seen this bag on social media already but it is such a gorgeous bag. It's by the brand Ghani. They're so popular. Really cool Scandinavian design but this bag in particular has caught my eye and I know a few people that have it. I've seen it in person and it's just a really gorgeous well-made bag. I also feel like the price is incredible. For the regular size it's around 400 euro. It's available on a bunch of different retailers and I will link some of the best value ones that I found in the description below and if there's any discount codes that I can find I will of course link them as well. The tan color is really beautiful it's a nice warm tan which is gorgeous for spring summer and they also have a beautiful cream version I've seen it in burgundy it's just a really gorgeous bag and you guys know I adore a good like mid lux or mid-range handbag and I feel like this one is really really good value for the price. The next bag that is on my wish list for spring is the Dragon Diffusion Santa Croc bag and you may have heard me mention this before but oh my god I love this brand so much they're again kind of a mid lux mid range designer label really really well made they use that woven leather method which we see in the likes of Bottega Veneta and of course Bottega is a very expensive very very premium luxury brand so a bag like this is very similar to some Bottega Veneta styles but instead of costing four or five or six thousand euro these uh, Santa Croc bags retail for between about 350 to 400 50 euro which I think is such a good price for the craftsmanship and the quality. I think the larger size is the one that I really like. It has a slightly larger drop on the handles and it's one that you can wear tucked on the crook of your arm but you can also pop it up onto your shoulder and I also think they look beautiful kind of held under the arm almost like a large clutch. Again this bag comes in a few different colors but I love the deep brown color. I think it's a beautiful bag. I have nothing like it in my wardrobe. A really chic summer bag if you like the woven leather styles of Bottega Veneta and you don't want to spend that price I think Dragon Diffusion is a great shout. There's one more handbag that I'm going to show you on my wish list and it is from the brand Flattered. They are such a cool uh, Scandinavian brand. They have really minimal designs, really great quality. Their leather is fantastic and this suede clutch is to die for. It's in the shade clay. It's just a gorgeous gorgeous piece. Again really minimal, really simple. It's very much hitting that quiet luxury style note there's no logos on it and it just looks beautiful like slouched under the arm as like an oversized clutch it's a very easy bag to wear I just think it would add something to my outfits it's very like nonchalant and again there's nothing like it in my wardrobe already and I feel like this color of bag this kind of beigey clay color I actually have very few bags in 
this shade and I think it will be a gorgeous addition to my spring summer wardrobe. It's actually a really good price as well. It comes in at just under 300 euro, but I do believe they do discount codes for your first purchase. I think I saw one for 10 or 15%. I'll leave it linked in the description below, but it brings it to just around, I think 260, which I think is such a good price. It's really, really well made. And I just think it is gorgeous. So those are three handbags that are on my wish list. And as I said, I probably won't be buying all of them. We are saving for a wedding. We are trying to budget over here, but I do think at least one of these bags will be purchased in my near future. And I would love to know in the comments below, which one is your favorite, which one you think I should get. Would love your input. So moving on, let's talk about the Adidas Sambas. And I picked up my first pair of Sambas over the last few weeks. I think it was maybe a month or two ago. Needless to say, I have been living in them and I don't know what took me so long to finally pick up a pair, but they are such an easy shoe, especially for this time of year. It's something about the slimmer fit that's a little bit more elegant. They look so good with trousers, midi skirts, satin skirts, and they look great with denim skirts. And they're just really, really gorgeous. I also think they'd look great with kind of summery dresses and things like that in the warmer months. I have my original pair and they were such a good buy. And because of that, I'm really keen to get a second pair. They do come in a range of different colors and they often sell out quite quickly. So it's good if you have a color in mind to kind of sign up for notification. What I'm looking for is either a different colorway of the Adidas Sambas. There's actually a colorway. It's the Samba OG. It's kind of like a darker black and like a creamy color. But what I'm also keen on is to pick up a pair of the Speziales and the Gazelles. So they're very similar to the Sambas, slim fitting, daintier trainer. But apparently the Speziales are really comfortable, even more comfortable than the Sambas. The colors that I'm really interested in are either a beige or like a brownie color. I've seen some versions of that in the Speziales, I think. I'll link the ones that I'm talking about below and they're just so gorgeous. So let's move on to some clothing that is on my wish list. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this H&M short trench. Now, if you've seen a bunch of my videos about spring and my spring capsule wardrobe, you'll know that I adore my Arquette short trench coat. It is such a good buy. I get so much wear out of it, but I wanted to pick up a shorter trench in a slightly different color. And some of the ones I've been seeing on the likes of H&M, they have a beautiful gray one, a black colorway. They also have like a lighter beige color as well. And then there's also like a darker khaki that I saw. And I would love to pick up another shorter trench over the next few weeks because I just get so much wear out of them. I actually feel like my short trench from Arquette is quite warm. So I'd love to pick up something that's even lighter that I can wear coming into the summertime just to throw on over my tank tops and my jeans, my skirts. So I think this shorter trench is a really, really good buy. I think under 40 euro. And again, they have a bunch of colors. H&M does sell out really, really quickly. So if you like this, I would jump on it and I will have it linked below. The next item on my wish list, which I will definitely pick up very soon is a classic Oxford shirt in a light blue color. So H&M have a very classic one. I think it's under 25 euro. So it's on my list to get this exact shirt in the light blue color, probably in a slightly oversized fit, because I just think this color blue at this time of year is gorgeous for styling with ecrus, with beiges. It just looks beautiful with lighter colors. So moving on to Uniqlo, I am going to pick up some of their baby tees. I really like a baby t-shirt in spring, summer, and it's not like a cropped version or anything like that. It's basically just a fitted t-shirt, something that's a little bit higher up on the arm. That's kind of a little bit more like snug and then fits nicely high up on the neck. I especially love wearing them with like satin midi skirts for a little bit more of like a slinky silhouette. Super, super flattering. And they're really nice as well to wear under things like waistcoats. I've picked up a few embroidered waistcoats over the last few weeks for spring and summer. And I feel like they will be beautiful with a fitted t-shirt as opposed to an oversized one, which would probably be a bit too much fabric. So I will link these below. Uniqlo is fantastic. Their quality of their t-shirts are amazing. I've bought from them before. So now I'm going to move on to Cause, which is one of my favorite high street shops. I feel like their quality is just amazing. And I have my eye on a few pairs of their trousers. So Cause have this pair of tailored trousers that I think is one of their permanent pieces in their collection. They have it in a bunch of colors. Apparently the quality is amazing. It's a little bit over a hundred euros. I actually think it's 125, which is more expensive than the Arquette one, but I've heard great things. It looks like the fit is really good. It's the gray that I have my eye on because it's a 
color that I've recently been wearing more of and I'm absolutely loving it. I also think that this exact style, which I will link below, is the style that has like buttons that you can adjust at the waist, which I think is so clever. And I have not seen that on any other trouser on the high street. In one way, you can wear them higher up. And then if you unbutton them, they can sit lower on the waist, which I think is so clever, especially if you're paying a little bit more for your trousers, you want that good quality, but also having that customization and fit. So there's also a pair of jeans on cause that are on my wish list. They're their arch jeans in the tapered style. They come in at, I think, 89 euro. And they're kind of like a barrel style jean and the fit looks so good. They come in a bunch of colors, which I think is really clever. It's obviously one of their permanent styles that they just bring out every season. I've seen the dark wash on a few people and it's absolutely gorgeous, but they look like they have a really good fit. I actually think I need to go in to store and try them on in person just because I don't think I've ever bought jeans from Cos before. So I need to figure out my sizing, but I do think if you're on the hunt for a really nice pair of slightly balloon fit jeans, these look really, really good. So moving on, I'm going to show you some pieces from Marks and Spencer that have caught my eye and I adore Marks and Spencer clothing. I also love their accessories and bags, but I feel like this season, their clothing for spring and early summer is so good. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this short trench coat. Now this one looks very similar to my Arquette short trench, but there is a big difference in price. So I feel like this could be a very, very good shout if you liked the look of the Arquette short trench, but you didn't wanna spend the full price. So I just wanted to share it because it looks really, really nice. The next item that's on my wish list for spring is this collared denim shirt. It's just a really simple piece. The t-shirt cut of the denim is very different to the denim shirts that we've been seeing so much of. And I feel like this would be a really easy piece to style with what I already have. It's something that's quite fresh for spring and summer. I just think the t-shirt cut is gorgeous. And again, I feel like Marks and Spencer, their pricing for their quality is really, really good. And this comes in at 42 euro, which I think is brilliant. I also really love these linen high waist shorts and I really want to pick them up for spring and summer. They are full linen, which I think is fantastic for the price. They have belt loops so you can pop your belt on with it. They have this really nice tailored fit, but they're also kind of longer on the leg, which I really like for spring and summer. I love having a nice tailored short. I have two pairs in a black and a white that I picked up on Zara a few years ago, but they're a little bit like heavier fabric and I would love to replace them with these linen versions. I think in the warmer months, they're such a good basic and also I would use them for travel as well um, and I think they have matching pieces on the site too and I'm always a fan of a matching set but I think they're such a good find. So next up we have this pure cotton midi skirt and for under 50 euro I think this is such a good find. It's such a simple piece but I do think that you would wear this so much in spring and summer. It comes in the beautiful white color and also comes in black. It's the really simple kind of ruched waistline, the pockets, this length is perfect and it just looks really breezy and comfortable and again that cotton material is going to be so comfortable in the warmer months and I just think it's so so nice and I'm so tempted to get it in both colors. I have similar items in my wardrobe but I feel like this is the one that I've been looking for. It's very tempting. Final item on my wish list from Marks and Spencer is these suede footbed sandals. These come in at I think just over 60 euro and they are so premium looking. They are such a similar style to the Hermes suede version with like the extra strap that I saw so much last year. Oh, they're gorgeous. Again, I do predict that these will sell out and I need to snap them up before they do, but I just wanted to show you guys. I think they're such a great option. Again, M&S footwear is such good quality. My ballet flats that I picked up last year, I have worn so much. Speaking of footwear, another pair of shoes that are on my wish list are a pair of tan loafers. I picked up a pair from Sam Edelman recently and they were so gorgeous, but unfortunately they were the wrong size and they only had that size left. I actually thought that it would work out I was doing like the American to the European size calculation, but they're way too big. So I will link them below in case they work for your size. I think all of the smaller sizes are sold out, but I found a very similar pair and it's from And Other Stories and they're around the same price as well. For these loafers, I wanted them to be in a proper leather. I want to be able to wear them in and just have them be buttery soft. I also really wanted that little gold horse bit um, detail on the front. I just think it adds something to them. These are gorgeous and I don't think that they'll sell out super fast 
they seem to be a style of shoe that and other stories have all the time. So now the last item that is on my wish list is a good tan leather belt. In spring and summer, tan is such a beautiful color to wear in your accessories. I recently picked up the Demelier New York in midi in the tan grain. It's such a beautiful bag. I've been wearing that a lot recently with my Amazon belt. I'll pop a picture right here. It looks a lot like the Hermes um, little Kelly lock belt, but I wanted to get just a simple, like not too skinny, not too thick, simple leather belt that I could style with it. And I found a few different versions that I'm gonna show you. First one that I think is the perfect match is this and other stories one. It looks really, really good quality and it's around the 50 euro mark. I remember picking up my black Arquette belt, I think it was maybe a year and a half ago now, for around the same price. It seems like a good quality leather belt will set you back around 40 to 50 euro. That Arquette one has been so amazing. I've worn it so, so much. So I feel like this and other stories one is probably gonna be comparable in quality. But there are two other belts I'm gonna show you that I really like. There's this M&S one, which I think is really, really chic, really, really simple, slightly different color. And again, the price is really, really good. And then there's this Cos belt. And again, I love this warmer kind of brownie, deeper tan color. It's again, I think around the 50 euro mark it's leather and just looks really really good quality so depending on what color you were trying to match I think these three are really nice but I feel like for my Demelier New York midi the and other stories tan one is going to be the perfect match I'll be wearing it with cream with linens even with blacks I think looks great with tan with whites grays so gorgeous and again I think you can see with these pieces that I'm thinking in terms of my capsule wardrobe for every purchase I'm trying to think about my existing wardrobe what I'll wear it with how it will mix and match so yeah, that's everything that is currently on my wish list. So do let me know in the comments below which items you think that I need to get or if there's anything that's on your wish list. I would love to know. You can also give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you'd like to see more of these kind of round up wish list features or kind of looking at what I think is the best on the high street right now. I love doing stuff like that. So if you'd like to see more of that, maybe something every like month or so, just let me know in the comments and I will get working on those roundups for you. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!